you, me, everyone on this planet, we have all had a dream. A dream where the boundaries of our existence are no longer constrained to this reality. Whether it's to be someone else, the president, not because they are easy, but because they are hard, an astronaut, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, or even Superman. From traveling the world to exploring the further reaches of outer space, Full Dive Virtual Reality is a dream that can fit in all of our minds, and today we will be asking the question, when will Full Dive be here? In order to accurately assess where we can place Full Dive technology, first we must take a look at the works of fiction and see what year they have accomplished Full Dive. Our first film, 2009 Surrogates. Take a seat in your STEM chair, and just with the power of your mind, you can control your surrogate. To put it briefly, humans have retreated using an android bodies to perfect the versions of themselves and have accessed these units using STEM chairs. While technically they're not accessing a digital metaverse, the technology used could easily be integrated with a full dive technology. Disappointingly, the film is set in 2017, so they were way off with this one. Sword Art Online needs no introduction. This anime series is basically responsible for the mainstream interest in Full Dive. SAO is set in 2022, so next year, still don't think that's even close. One of the more realistic timeframes, in my opinion, is Ready Player Two. Nowhere except the Oasis. Without going into too much detail to prevent spoilers, Ready Player Two is set in 2045. Two quick mentions that use similar technology, Tron 1982 and Matrix 2199. So in terms of fiction, we don't get any closer to realistically determining a median year for the release of Full Dive, so we must now turn to our own technology and make an educated decision based on the growth of previous technologies. While VR is coming a long way in recent years, it's not an effective tool to predict full dive. Technologies, as while they share the same attributes, they're as different as a book is to TV. VR will be the gateway for software, not hardware. Fortunately, we do have Neuralink, our only true line of sight for beloved full dive. So Neuralink's public trials will be starting later this year where they first focus on helping alleviate the suffering of others. But how close are we to this technology helping us achieve our goal? If it wasn't for a few cases where BCIs can be used to input information into the brain, we couldn't even come close to finding out a year. But fortunately, brain-computer interfaces have been helping people see and hear for years, proving input is actually possible. As for a timeline of progression, in 2017, a direct quote from Elon goes as follows. I think we are about eight to 10 years away from this being usable for people with no disability. So that gives us a date of 2025 to 2027, where BCIs can become useful for everyday humans. As he stated, it will allow us to integrate our thoughts with the internet, increasing our output tenfold, but this doesn't necessarily mean we'll have full dive. It could, and I believe this is the minimum year full dive could be achieved, 2027. Technologies need to mature first, and as Neuralink, is mostly made of components similar to phones. We use their technology as a development model. According to research, we can conclude the smartphone peak in development about the year 2017 and started in 2007. That's 10 years to achieve full maturity. No real evolution has been achieved since then, apart from a standard increase in performance and gimmick designs, increasing camera resolution. So if we add 10 years to our minimum prediction, we get to the year 2037. As long as there are no serious hurdles that prevent full dive from being possible, I think we all need to prepare ourselves for this digital revolution. In the meantime, we can experience a full dive of our own, our dreams. But that's a topic for another video.